Welcome to Kaleidoscope Toy and Miniature Australian Shepherds in Raleigh, North Carolina. Today I'm sitting out on the deck with Tess's puppies. They're just under five weeks old now, but it's such a sunny day. We've had really bad weather and uh, I just thought it was a good opportunity to let them get out and get some sunshine and some vitamin D. This litter is, these puppies are going to be small minis, possibly a toy or two. This guy here might be a large toy. And uh, so Tessa and Storm are actually minis, but they have toys in their background. And I want to talk a little bit about the toy Australian Shepherd because a lot of people think of a toy dog as really tiny, you know, a three or four pound Pomeranian or something like that. And in this breed, toy is not determined by the weight of the puppy. It's determined by the height at the shoulder. So a male, Australian Shepherd that's 14 inches or below at the shoulder is considered a toy. A female that's 13 inches or below at the shoulder is considered a mini. So that's not a tiny dog by any stretch of the imagination. I mean some of the toys can weigh 15 pounds, even 20 pounds if they're big boned. So if you're if you're looking at Australian Shepherds, miniature and toy Australian Shepherds, make sure you know what you're getting because there are some people that breed really really tiny toy Australian Shepherds. Um, I don't. My puppies are usually grow up. If they're toys, they'll be 12 or 15 pounds. You know, as I say, some can be upwards to 20 pounds. These puppies will probably end up about 15 to 20 pounds. And I still have two little boys available from this litter. I have this guy here and I have this guy here. And this was my, um, my Happy Days litter, so this is Fonzie, and, <laughs> and, and this is Potsy. And these are the two boys that at this point are not spoken for. Another thing I want to talk about is male versus female. Some people, it's unbelievable how many people say they have to have a certain sex for a pet. And it makes absolutely no sense at all. If you're adopting a puppy as a pet, there's absolutely no reason to choose male or female. Just choose the individual puppy because your puppy is going to get spayed or neutered. And if your puppy is spayed or neutered, your dog is spayed or neutered, it is no longer a male or a female. It is a neuter. It has no sex. And so a lot of people get hung up on, well, I have to have a male or I have to have a female and they'll overlook the perfect puppy for their family just because they have some sort of misconception about they have to have a male or a female. Now back in the day, like when I was a kid, there was no spaying or neutering. And so people didn't want a male dog because the male dog would pee on everything, territory scent mark, it would maybe be aggressive towards other male dogs, it would wander in search of a female because nobody's females were spayed. These guys are... <laughs> You can't see what I see. They're having fun with my camera. Uh, and, and so, you know, people say, oh, I don't want a male dog. Or they say, oh, I don't want a female dog because she's going to get bred. She's going to have puppies. Well, in this day and age, it, th there's, no, there's no merit to that anymore. Because if you get a dog from me, you're gonna, it's going to come with a spay-neuter contract. And you're going to have to have that dog spayed or neutered. So it is not a male. It is not a female. It is a neuter. It is an it. So I just wanted to say a little bit about that because it just seems like so many people are adamant about they have to have a certain sex and these, this is their first story. outing. So there's like, what, 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 what? And this is also for the people that are getting their puppies. You know who you are. Yep, this is Richie. You know who you are that's getting Richie. Yes, and Joni, come here, Joni, come up here. Oh, here's Joni, little Joni. You know where you're going to. It's still a little hard to tell eye color. Yeah. But anyway, just enjoying a beautiful sunny day here in North Carolina, playing with playing with uh, Tessa and Storm's puppies. We're going to go back to cold tomorrow and then snow Thursday and rain Friday. So this is their big time, big chance to get out. And really, we do appreciate you watching our videos and keeping up with our puppies. And we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe, share, comment, try to help us grow our little channel. 
so more people can find us and we're, as we share uh, training and developmental stages of the puppies. Thanks again for watching. See you next show. See you next time. <laughs>